Hey, what's up guys? Briar Rabbit here, and today I'm playing with my pistol again. I got the uh, 5.7 here. I love the 5.7. The 5.7 and the TAC-45 are really fun to play with. Uh, a lot of people really like the Cap-40 or the B-23R, but to me, I really enjoy the single-fire pistols a lot more. I think it's the challenge of using them, not being able to just like hold down a trigger with the Cap-40 or uh, using that, what is it, the three-shot burst of the B-23R. I don't know. For me, it's just a little more fun. I don't think they're as easy to use, but uh, they help me to vary the gameplay up a little bit. And to me, that really helps keep the game fresh. I One of the things I love to do in the, uh, uh, what was it, Modern Warfare 3, I think it was the Python was the revolver. And I loved running around with that thing. I actually think that it was a little harder to use the Python in that game than it is to use the pistols in this. Pistols are a little stronger in this game. Uh, they fire pretty quick. They actually, they have a pretty quick time to kill which makes them pretty formidable and not only that but it allows you to really set up a uh, a really unique class because you have that really fast run speed with the pistols and you can uh, customize your perks a little more because you're not using so many uh, weapon attachments because normally most people run you know you run your primary weapon two attachments maybe even three with the primary gunfighter uh, wild card and all of a sudden, you, you got very few perks and equipment slots left. With the pistols, you're more you're more limited. You only get one attachment. Uh, you can run two if you use the secondary gunfighter wild card. And I don't know. It's just it helps you vary up the gameplay a little bit. I I enjoy switching up the guns. You know, I don't get me wrong. I love using the big powerhouse weapons just as much as the next guy. You'll see plenty of videos of me using the FAL with a target finder on it. You'll see plenty of my, my videos with me running around with the, the MSMC or the PDW. But to me, it just it helps me keep the game fresh to just be switching up the guns, switching up the game types. I always come back to Free For All just because to me it's very pure. It's a very fun way to play. Whatever moves, shoot at it, kill it. Uh, you get to... The excitement of the kind of crazy spawns is a lot of fun to me. You know, you, as opposed to with other team-based games where the spawns seem to be infuriating, in uh, Free For All, you know, you just expect people to be spawning all over the place. So it's kind of adds to the fun, and I think that's a big difference than the team game types. So I didn't post it all this weekend. I was actually on a trip to Philadelphia to visit for some family brought the kids and the fiance along and that was a it was a pretty good trip we had a nice relaxing time saw a movie with the family had a really good dinner we went to this place called the palm in philadelphia and holy jesus it was one of the best steaks it was the best steak i've ever had it was unbelievable look it up if you're going to be in philadelphia it was not a cheap place to go but holy cow the food was outstanding it's in this hotel it's actually the hotel i forget the name of the hotel but it's the hotel that's famous because it had the that outbreak of Legionnaire's disease in, I want to say it was the 40s, but I'm probably wrong about the date. But a whole mess of people died uh, because Legionnaire's disease, it was kind of like that first big outbreak or the first recorded outbreak of it. So the hotel is famous for that, but it's also famous because it's got this restaurant called The Palms in it. And The Palms is just a famous restaurant in Philadelphia. Anyway, you guys don't care about what I'm eating. What you guys care about is some Black Ops gameplay. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting too much, but I will get back on track. I'm back now. I'm gonna have some. Uh, I'm gonna have episode six of the Best Weapon Shootout coming very soon. That'll I'll either be out t tomorrow on Tuesday or Wednesday. It depends on how long it takes me to edit it. And the script is all written, so I just have to record the uh, commentary and kind of finish the editing. And it should be shouldn't take too long. So probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, if I get hung up by anything. So it was very weird because I actually gained a whole mess of subscribers this weekend, even though I didn't post any videos. This is pretty exciting. I'm up to, I think, 59, and I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. Uh, hopefully that you guys will want to play some, uh, some matches. It's really fun to play together. The whole point of this channel really is to kind of get better at Call of Duty together, play some matches together, and just have a lot of fun. I also do some uh, equipment reviews. You'll see post up every once in a while basically whenever I get my hands on something that I find interesting uh, I try and do an equipment review on it uh, previous reviews have been like the uh, scuff gaming controller the razor saber tooth controller uh, I got an a40 controller or I'm um, not controller a a40 headset a50 headset Astro a50 headset 
that uh, I've been playing with now. I think it's been going on three weeks. And uh, the review is just not right in itself, right? Because I'm, I've got, really got mixed feelings on this thing. This thing was $300, and uh, it's good. It's not perfect, and I want to make sure I kind of get a real good review out there for anybody who's thinking about buying one. Uh, I used to use uh, the Triton... I think they're the AX720s, and those were real good. They just wore out on me. So I got I got some, you know, a pretty decent headset to compare the A50s to, and I really wanted to kind of compare and contrast what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So look forward to that coming soon, too. Also, I've been playing around with the new channel settings. I know that you guys don't give a crap about the new channel settings, but kind of interesting stuff. You can put a new banner on your channel page. Uh, I also have been messing around with put, making a new kind of icon instead of the uh, Banksy image that I've been using. I figured I'd do something original that kind of names myself in it. Uh, it's going to be mostly text. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to end up being yet. I'm not real good at Photoshop. I use Pixelmator because it's kind of a cheap alternative, but I'm not real good at it. It's not one of my strong suits, so it takes me a long time to mess with that stuff because uh, basically I have to look up YouTube videos to learn how to do anything I want to do and then uh, try and do it slowly but surely. So that pretty much ends this video. Uh, up on the screen in just a moment, you'll see a couple of videos you may have missed. On the left is uh, Best Weapon Shootout, Episode 5, The Peacekeeper vs. The MTAR. And on the right is the 007 Challenge, Episode 2. This is a challenge I did with a silenced pistol as my only uh, weapon. And uh, it went really fun. It was a really fun way to play. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.